unbelievable. You won't believe what happened to Vice President Airplane during his trip to the US African Summit. Details will be said below. Good morning everyone and thank you for tuning in and listening to this headline that we brought for you this morning. As our headline for this morning says that unbelievable, you won't believe what happened to the Vice President's airplane during his trip to US Africa Summit. Details below. It says there that Vice President Kaim Shetima, who was initially taxed, who was initially taxed with representing, representing President Bola Ahmed Tinibu at the esteemed 2024 U.S. Africa Business Summit, organized by the Corporate Council on Africa, encountered an unforeseen disruption in its plans, scheduled to take place from May 6 to May 9, 2024. The summit was poised to serve as a pivotal platform, utilizing political and business leaders from Africa, the United States and beyond, from Africa, the United States and beyond. With its comprehensive agenda featuring high-level dialogues, networking sessions, and plenary discussions, the event are made to foster economic cooperation and facilitate the exploration of investment opportunities between the U.S. and the African countries. However, a sudden technical glitch with the Vice President aircraft prompted a diversion from the original, from the original as disclosed in a statement issued by the Senior Special Assistant on Media and Communication, Stanley Uwanshuku on Monday. In the light of the unforeseen circumstances, Vice President Karim Chetima was compelled to heed the guidance provided by the managers of the presidential air fleet. Consequently, Ambassador Yusuf Martin Matsuga, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, was swiftly appointed to step into the role of representing Bola Ahmed Tinubu at the summit. Vice President, the Vice President will continue with his other national duties. The statement reassured, the statement reassured underscoring the commitment to fulfilling governmental responsibilities. Despite the setback in travel plans, the high-profile nature of the summit hosted by the esteemed Key Bailey, by the esteemed Key Bailey Hunching Convention Center in Dallas, Texas, underscores its significance as a provider forum for adv advancing economic collaboration and investment prospects between the United States and African nations. Among the distinguished attendees expected to grace the summit were President Joseph by President Joseph Bukai of Libya of Liberia, President Lazarus, President Lazarus Kaurewa of Malawi, President Jao Lorenzo of Angola, President Mugawiz Etma Misasi of Botswana, President Joe Maria Nivez of of Cape Verde, and Deputy Prime Minister and Deputy Prime Minister Nimeg Manjara of Lesotho. With a shared global of blustering economic ties and fostering and fostering mutuality beneficial part partnership, the U.S. African Business Summit stood as a state as a statement, as a testament to the importance of international collaboration in driving sustainable economic development and prosperity for all stakeholders involved. Despite the unforeseen and despite the unforeseen hiccup in Vice President Shetima travel plans, the commitment to advancing diplomatic and economic engagements remains unwavering, reflecting a steadfast dedication to prompting to, to prompting bilateral cooperation and fostering growth opportunity in both sides of the Atlantic. And that is all we have under this headline, which says that unbelievable, you won't believe what happened to Vice President's airplane during his trip to the U.S. summit. Like this headline says, you won't believe what happened to the Vice President's aircraft during the trip to the U.S. summit, and what happened to the U.S. Um, to the Vice President's aircraft that we are going to be looking right here under this headline. It says that Karim Shetima, the Vice President of Nigeria, he was initially taxed with representing President Bola Ahmed in the esteemed 2024 U.S. Africa Business Summit, organized by the Corporate Council in Africa. 
he was tasked by representing President Bola Metinibu in this meeting. And he encountered an unforeseen disruption with his plane. He encountered an unforeseen, they, they didn't notice this problem in the air, aircraft, in the plane. And this um, problem that was, that, that they say that is scheduled to take place from May 6th to May 9, 2024. That was the time for the meeting, seeing that the submits, the aim of this meeting was poised to serve a provider platform. It was aimed to serve as a provider platform, utilizing political business leaders from Africa, meaning that this meeting is it, it, the, the main aim of this meeting that he was supposed to be attending. The aim is to bring about all political leaders from all around Africa to unite them, to unite them globally, something like that. And from the not only from Africa and the United States and beyond. With this comprehensive agenda, featuring high level dialogues, networking sessions, and planetary discussion, the event aimed to foster economic cooperation and facilitate its exploration investment opportunities between the US and African countries, saying that the event is also aimed at fostering, um, fostering investment plans between the US and the African countries. But unlikely to us, the, the Vice President was unable to leave for that meeting due to this an aircraft problem, saying that there was a technical glitch in the aircraft was supposed to be boarded and even the there was a technical glitch with the with the vice president's aircraft and it prompted the aviation from the original in from the original as disclosed in a statement issued by a senior special assistant on media and communication who disclosed to us that the vice president could not be able to go for that meeting and they didn't know that such a problem was supposed to happen. They didn't see the problems. They didn't foresee the problem in time for, for, for them to fix this technical glitch. We thank God that the past president did board that plane, saying uh, maybe on the air they, they, they experienced the problem and then we see a plane crash. Well, the vice president was now compelled to, he was compelled to heed the guidance and provided by the manager of the presidential air fleet by the manager of the air, of the aircraft like the airport manager saying that no 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 the plane is in no co good condition for you to board so he had to just follow the orders and he was represented by his he was represented he was later represented by by the minister of foreign affairs he was represented by the minister of foreign affairs who goes by the name ambassador yusuf mati matuga he was swiftly appointed to step in as a role to represent Bola Metinibu at the summit meeting. And that is all. What do you guys think? I want you to drop your comment in the comment section concerning this. And don't forget to leave a like on this video. Then tap the subscribe button to subscribe.